Right at 520. And watch your leg. So after the INT, it's Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing in too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. The second down attempt there, knocked down as. It leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Brady. To Gordon, out left. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. In the end. comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Throwing on first down is Brady. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. First catch of this game, a big one. Of course, he had the big performance last week when he was AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, but that was so last week, wasn't it? I mean, look at what he's doing now. I think he's trying to exceed what he did in that game and continue to ascend in this season. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. You give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. In the community's eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago, really it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization, general manager, personnel department, college scouts it all came together they evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff so from the 36 now first and 10 now Brady looking for his tight end on the corner it's complete and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 two chunk plays in a row the last one was over 20 yards and so is this one I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it for a team. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. To throw again on second down, Brady. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 20. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. 
Browns and Jets, 8-15 Eastern on Monday night. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Here's Brady. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Xavier Howard with a good coverage that time as he was there and knocked it away. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Brady's throw there complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 22 yards there, a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. It is a 100, the magic number for a really good game for a receiver. So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. The end result, 21 yards. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Josh Gordon, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the lead is now 10-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that Spot. So far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that blue hit. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. There he goes, left side. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the... Touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path, a significant number. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. And on that last catch, Charles, he tops the 150-yard mark. It's one thing when your wideout gets that. When your tight end gets it, it's quite another. He keeps in the evolution of that position. don't we? Where we've seen where it's gone from strictly as a blocker to a guy who caught a few passes to now an integral part of the passing game, sometimes a primary receiver because a lot of these guys have wide receiver skills and we're seeing that on display here. Just think about the guys of the past looking back at this game and saying, sure wish that was me. I'd love to have gone out for those types of passes. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady finds his man, Watson, over the middle. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Brady going to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. 
And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Goskowski the extra point, and it's now 21-17. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Here's Brady to throw. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. That can't stay, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver. Was drafted that way, and that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a 6 foot 6 inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge 6 6 target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Throwing again on second down. Brady, and this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Josh Gordon with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. Goskowski with the extra point and the decision to just kick the extra. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. Let's see if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. Throwing again on second and 10. Brady. And they work this well up Let's field go. across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. 
The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady, and the Patriots have retaken the lead. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Oh. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Brady now on first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Brady will try again on second down. But he caught it out of bounds, and the score stays the same here in the fourth. So close to changing numbers on the scoreboard. When you're running routes in the end zone, you've got to give yourself enough space as a receiver to make sure you can come down with the ball inbounds. Especially in this type of a game in the fourth quarter. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Well, the pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Five touchdown passes now for Tom Brady. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Goskowski the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that one up. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. To throw, it's Brady. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Cover, cover. On first down, Brady. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. It has it right side and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as the clock's gonna stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth I got you I got you Brady to throw he hits blue a big game there, and on, that should let's certainly let's be enough to put this one in the win column. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. New England on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. Now Brady. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on four. Throwing now is Brady. And caught by Thomas for a New England touchdown. Demarius Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. Defensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. 
they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for New England, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they'll drop to 0-2. And, and they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas.
Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we'll get a look at the second-year man, Sam Darnold. Okay, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Brady now on first down. Throw over the middle, secured by Gordon. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for him on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Brady's throw there complete to Edelman. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to... And a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the punter who also does the kickoff duties, Locke Edwards, out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there. Nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. The throw here going to be complete to Gordon. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. We got three, we got three, three down, three down. First and ten. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That is caught inside the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Jordan Jenkins able to get him for a loss of about three. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. On second and goal, Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Josh Gordon 
His third touchdown now on the year. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. So after the INT, it's Brady. He's got Lacoste over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And now the throw here is incomplete, and with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Shotgun now for Brady. And it's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab, and the Patriots add six to their lead. The point after try for Goskowski. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. There's so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Goskowski, the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. First and ten, here's Brady. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Blowing that play up was Henry Anderson. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure, sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got to him, and that just doesn't happen very often. It's a rarity. He's just such a veteran. His pocket presence so good, but hey, tip of the cap to the D. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Matt Darr to kick it away. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Jets will take over. Wait, that? Wait, 20? Right there, 54 Mike. Here we go, here we go. Hey, check it. Throwing on first down is Brady. This is White on the screen. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
11 yards there, first down. It was pretty evident in reading everything, hearing these guys talk, that this was a deal they wanted to get done. They know how valuable he is to this team. Absolutely a key component to what they do and what they do well. And if they want to continue to have success in the future, they knew they needed him, and they got the deal done. To throw again on second down, Brady. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brady. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll go for it. It's Brady. He's going to air one out. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And a big turnover. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down in bounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Avery Williamson. Came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. He is proving his worth defensively. Getting the sack here, that comes after being named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in last week's. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. Wait, that Alabama, we need Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Brady now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future all-pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. Well, that throw by Brady, incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Five touchdown passes now for Tom Brady. And the Patriots continue to roll. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
A reminder coming up later tonight. A lot of buzz about this game. The Browns, they've been doing some travel. Back-to-back primetime games for them. Monday night, they were in New York. Now the Browns head to Los Angeles to take on the NFC champs. Browns and Rams an 8.20 kickoff Eastern time. 5.20 in California. Here's White. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. This one away by the punter, Dar. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Brady's throw caught by Thomas. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Here's Brady. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomped down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. It made it very tough for him to get the ball. Brady to his old reliable element, and the Patriots have a first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. 11 more on that one and another first down. He's played a great game and continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Goskowski the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25. So still lots of work left to do. But here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And he's proving again. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. They keep it on the ground. White again. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. 
to throw. It's Brady. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when they're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to scout the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And how about this, a fake? Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his... A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier.
a young credible one is the unforgettable you will do like your belly show this your perennial do this for my millennials i'll be murdering any flow i just had to let you know it's a young credible one is the unforgettable you will do like your belly show this your perennial do this for my millennials i'll be murdering any flow i just had to let you know
You know what they say, something's got to give. I'm Jonathan Coachman. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see two teams, 
each riding a three-game win streak, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Buffalo Bills. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. A pair of 3-0 teams set to lock horns for the right to remain unbeaten. And we're off in week four. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. On first down, Brady. And his first look is incomplete. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. And the big story, of course, no Rob Gronkowski at tight end. Who's going to step up for the big-time playmaker? Who's going to give Tom Brady the security blanket that he used to have from big number 87? Now a pass here caught by Edelman. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. To throw is Brady. He hits blue. A first catch for the man leading the NFL in receiving yards of this first month. And a first down to boot. They're going to have to do something with him. He was so sensational last week, over 200 yards. Well, AFC Offensive Player of the Week, what do you do? You, you hold him? <laughs> That's a good start as long as you can get away with it. Otherwise, just giving up penalties and free plays for the <laughs> offense. But I think you've got to do a combination of things. Chip it his timing at the line of scrimmage, have extra people in the territory for him. You've got to do everything and change it up from snap to snap. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Brady's throw there complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening... complete first play of the drive a success 19 yards here we go, here we go. and a good quarterback facing zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield you can only cover for so long so maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme get a little bit more pressure remember when carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now Brady. He completes it right side to White. Give him three on the play, and that'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Brady again. It's caught. This is White. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now Brady, and this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. 
from 21 yards away. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. On first and 10, Brady. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A well-executed 22-yard game. Here's Brady to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Lorenzo Alexander wreaking the defensive havoc. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that makes our score 17. Houshka now to send this one away following the score. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. A reminder coming up tonight, a tough ticket in New Orleans. The Cowboys in town to take on the Saints on Sunday night football. And tomorrow night, Charles and I, we go to Pittsburgh. Bengals and Steelers, two teams, well, they don't like each other very much. That's well documented. That start. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Goskowski the extra point and the decision to just kick the extra point. That comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. So maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Brady down a throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. 16 yards, a first down. Into the red zone, it's Brady. He rifles one that's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And a big turnover there as his guys. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. 
And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're open, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. Get ready, get ready. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady. And they'll be down just outside of the end zone at the one-yard line. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that level and not of that age. But I remember, I, was looking, going for the age. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and All offensive side. coordinators Defense. talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Now Brady. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. That one good for a first. On first and ten, here's Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Brady. And he will find his man on the outside. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him, take a turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Throwing now is Brady. And he's got his man on the out route. Let's go. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. Now a play fake here on first down. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Lorenzo Alexander. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. 
Tredavious White with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out. Let's go. That comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that are be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Brady, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They go play action here on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, the obvious goal is to try and score a touchdown, but at the least, and into a pretty big yardage total for his intended receiver there, huh? Yeah, well, when you've got a guy over 150 yards, <laughs> keep chucking it deep to him, I guess. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can get it to him short, and he can make plays that way, but I like what you just said. Throw it to him deep and get it in a big chunk. But incomplete on that try. Throwing his Brady on third down. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. In for the score. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Extra point try for Goskowski. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. They'll get the first down and more and send to 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning. Got a nice little margin on the scoreboard. Completed. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. 
The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Look like an I-4 touchdown here in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. It's a pickup 17 and a first down. Throwing a first down is Brady. Over the middle, open is Thomas. The completion good for three and it's second down. That reception, his 600th NFL catch. Congratulations, quite the accomplishment. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Three to throw again. It's complete, James White. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get... And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Five touchdown passes now for Tom Brady, and the Patriots are pouring it on. Goskowski for the point after. And they're able to up the lead by one more. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. A big play there. His 21st touchdown of the season, and the Patriots continue to roll. Extra point good by Gaskowski, and that will extend it. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, I think about being blown out. And no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college ball, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that had very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles. The Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White.
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second and seven, Brady, 11 yards there, first down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Pass incomplete. Demarius Thomas, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Brady going to throw here. On the left side, a catch by Wayne. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. He lost two, and it brings up four. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their...